Hello people, fighter number 457 joining my retired database and this is the next to last pre-rating era fighter, the last pre-rating era fighter will be fighter 459 but on this video we are adding in Allentown Joe Gans, okay, an underrated black fighter um, very good fighter of course, fought, um, had a grab and lost so let us look at the stats um, as he has been added into my top 500 and scored so, Allentown Joe Gans, now Against world champions, he only beat one world champion, Allentown Joe Gans, and he had a total of nine fights against world champions overall. Now, Allentown, Jan <laughs> Allentown Joe Gans comes in with a record of 82 rounds for against world champions. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Allentown G Joe Gans did not beat one individual Hall of Famer. He did have six fights against Hall of Famers overall, and Allentown Joe Gans comes in with a total of 56 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, in terms of world title fights, Allentown Joe Gans, another fighter like many who was denied a world title fight, he thus never made a title defence, and also Allentown Joe Gans fought no title fight rounds. And overall, okay, he ended up with 10 fights against champions and Hall of Famers alike. The longest unbeaten run in the career of Allentown Joe Gans was an unbeaten run of 21 fights in total, and Allentown Joe Gans won zero world titles. So Allentown Joe Gans, okay, following Chevalo 456, Allentown Joe Gans is 457. Uh, I'm now moving deeper and deeper into the final 50. I'm getting the video ready, 471 or something. I'm getting loads ready at the same time, can't remember which number. But I'm churning on, I'm actually working on the videos in my final 30 prior to retirements and pre-rating era fighters to come after that. So there's the latest entry fighter, 457. It is the underrated Allentown Joe Gans. I'm the Boxing Librarian. I am out for now.